When you think of, uh, you know, like hype beasts and streetwear in America, what comes to your head? What's going on everybody? Right now we are all the way out in Singapore in Southeast Asia. We are at Culture Cartel 2019 and we are going to be asking the people what they are wearing, comparing their style with Western style. A lot of things to explore today. There's, uh, you know, uh, tattoo artists here. You got graffiti artists, influencers, music artists from all over the world, not just Southeast Asia, but you know, you got people from New York, London, Russia, all over Russia. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. We're going to be talking to the people, seeing what they're up to. Let's get it. Can you kind of break down what you are wearing right now? Is this like, you know, something you would typically wear? Uh, I guess this is something I would typically wear, but uh, I'm wearing a cold wall vest. I'm wearing a top from Depop, Drifted. I got IMG pants and some off-white Nikes. I like those. I'm actually looking for a pair of those. Well, you can come to my booth. I'm selling some. All right, I'm over there. Can you break down your outfit? What are you wearing right now? I see the crazy heat on the feet right now. So I'm wearing a Just Dawn shirt and then a uh, Khaled uh, Jordan. How much are those worth? Like. Those are like priceless, right? 8,000. 8,000. I got it for 8,000. Uh, KFM Nike collab from a few years back. And the uh, Soul and Dunks SBs. Seems like you uh you mess with the collaborations a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything that sells out is a collaboration, so that's what I got on. I wear these pretty much every day. Really casual? Yeah, very casual. Like the white Yeezy? Yeah, you like my triple white. <laughs> so I'm wearing Nike top, Nike shorts, and the Nike Air Fear of God ones in the orange balls. Like I forgot the name here. Yeah. Orange something. The mangoes, the mangoes. We'll call them the mangoes. Oh, uh, mangoes, mangoes are yellow, bro. Mangoes are orange. Oh, you gotta come to Manila. You gotta come to Philippines. <laughs> Go ahead and just kind of tell them what you guys are rocking today. Obviously, you guys seen the vlog. We, uh, <laughs> you know, they took care of us, all right? Right, right? They took care of us at Babe Singapore. That's why I'm baked out. You know me, I'm a little bit of a bigger guy. I wouldn't normally have the, the chucks on, but the babe chucks, I had to make an exception. Um, for me, I am wearing full on like Y3, dripped head to toe and bape on the inside right here. I love this varsity jacket, huge fan, Yoji Yamamoto. Full boost on my feet. I cannot be any happier. The CDG that I wear is uh, my go-to, and then I always pair it with Air Forces or like um, Stan Smith. What kind of style do you uh, gravitate towards in a guy? Um, if they look good or clean, then that, that's it. That's what's it for me. Not the grunge, dirty look. Oh, that's always an additional bonus point. <laughs> oh, so you like that yeah, so with clean? Yes, clean and grunge, or if you can do both, that's great. Clean and grunge, that's kind of like counterintuitive, but she's complicated, she's complicated. I see the heat on the feet right now. Is this something you typically wear? Can you break down the outfit? Um, I'm wearing the Martial Soul from 2017. It's a gift from the Nike Lab team. Woo! I know. Yeah, right. those are fire. They're going for like 4,000 now? Yeah, it's insane. Crazy, crazy, yeah. Yeah, the aesthetics of the outfit are really cool, kind of like that baggier look, you know what I mean? Also to cover my flaws, you know what I mean? So far, what's your favorite thing about the event? For me, I've just been impressed about how well they just brought everything together. It's cohesive. It's easy to say that. Yeah. It's another thing to actually execute on it. Andrew, what are you, Andrew? I've seen some local brands with some uh, philosophies that I think are new and I think are cool. And I wish that we saw more of that in America amongst the Asian Americans, but I like how Singapore's pushing it. I'm not gonna lie, every booth is like quality booths. I don't know if this is a new branding. Singapore's the, the Tokyo of Southeast Asia. This is the first time we're here. Um, so we're from Manila, we don't really have this kind of thing. So I really appreciate that here in Singapore and in Southeast Asia, they're bringing everything together. Like, Huge variety. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're selling basketball shirts on one side and then on the other side, everybody's getting tattooed, you know? So it's like the only place where you can see this happen. It's been really great and we hope to be here next year again. I don't want to call out any other, you know, conventions or whatever, <laughs> but uh, sometimes the booths be lacking and, and the booths here are solid. This is my second year at Culture Cartel okay. and just seeing how they've grown, the traction they've gained, in this last year, I'm even more excited that and humbled that they would even bring me back. So, yeah, I'm I'm really digging the whole thing here, and just as a, you know, a New Yorker being in East Asia and just seeing this cultural melting pot is strong. When you think of hype beasts and streetwear in America, what comes to your head? Kanye. I just feel like the the internet and like the access information. American like hype culture is like the max, it's like the 
everything really? is about hype. Here, it's kind of more like we hear a story and we like get linked with that. But oh. there, it's like you experience it. You grew up with Jordan. You grew up with all these icons. Yeah. We're within it. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you think about like sneakers and streetwear in America and like the high beast culture, what is the first thing that comes to your head? Richie Lee. Oh, streetwear and sneakers in the U.S. What comes to your head? Jordan. In my mind, it's all about Jordans and like the whole basketball culture. Like in Singapore, it's not much basketball. It's more like uh, football, more sneakers, more uh, skating. What do you mean football? You mean soccer? Yes, I mean soccer. Okay. Cool. <laughs> the real football. So. Okay. <laughs> streetwear here is more like a community, more than anything else. So though we don't have like a street street, it's more like people coming together who appreciate fashion and sneakers and grew up with sneakers. I mean, Singapore is really young. We're like 50 years old. So there is a lot of things that we are learning and, you know, grabbing from outside influences and we're bringing it in and trying to make it our own. What I've seen is either people playing it safe they don't want to do too much or they have a better sense of style uh, where they're not wearing like the all over print and, and just going crazy with it with the OD uh, flexing. How uh, familiar are you with uh, female influencers out there in America or just you know on Instagram and whatnot? Do you, do you pay attention? I do. Um, Who do you like? I like oh. Alayne May. Okay. Yeah, Peggy Go is good. Um, there's so many actually now um, and it's rising and I think the girls are really stepping up their game. So you're huge into sneakers, you've been in the game for a while now, the audience that we have is, you know, pretty young. What is one word of advice you would have to the viewers out there? Uh, buy what, what your eyes want, like uh, what, what you want to wear, uh, any, any expensive, limited edition. You know, if you, it feels good for you, buy it. I like that. I had the Air Force Ones growing up, couldn't get the 95s. What is your favorite collab that you ever done personally? Doesn't have to be sneakers. I know you've done a ton. Um, I'm going to say Ariel and Ezra, my two children. You know, like that's okay. my favorite collab. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for our time here at Culture Cartel 2019. It was a really cool event. I mean, what really stands out to you? Man, the variety. It kind of reminds me of ComplexCon. Oh. You go to the certain booths, and you can actually get DIY things that get you kind of interacting with, like, screen printing, yes, the patches. So I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, it was really cool. It was cool to interact with all the people here, see what they're wearing, see the culture here in Singapore. I can't wait to come back. All right, guys, so let us know down in the comments below what styles really stood out to you guys. What do you think about the culture here out in Singapore, in Asia as a whole? Shout out to everybody that we met, and that's pretty much it, and until next time, we out. Peace.